I've really missed making scout weapon concepts videos. It's actually been quite a while since the last time I did one of these, so I've decided to finally bring them back. This time we're going to be looking at this skin called the Lever Blaster, or Lever Blaster, however you say it. I mean, I'd say Lever Blaster. And the specific skin I'm using in this video replaces the Babyface's Blaster, but there is a version that I found afterwards which replaces the Scattergun instead. Probably would have made this video a lot easier to make if I could use the Scattergun, but oh well. Now, the skin itself is a really nice looking skin, to be fair. It's a fairly simple looking design, but actually I had a lot of people on stream come in and tell me that they really liked the look of the weapon. Obviously, we've had it a couple of times on stream. People liked the skin I was using or whatever, but it seemed to be more than normal of the people saying they liked how this one looked. Now, does it fit the theme of TF2? I mean, I personally think so. I can picture the scout like, actually using this. As for what the stats of this weapon could be, I feel like it's basically the standard at this point that every single scattergun alternative ends up with less bullets than the original. And to be honest, I don't think this one would have been that different, but maybe we'll say this one actually has the same amount for once. I don't know, I want to see more scatterguns that have six bullets in them. Like, I don't know why every other variant has less bullets. And to be honest, the only reason I'm saying this weapon could have six shells loaded into it is because there's four on the side and two, like, loaded into the weapon. And just because there's only two places for the shells to come out of doesn't necessarily mean there can only be two loaded into the gun. I mean, the lock and load has three pills in it for some reason. And the grenade launcher only has four. So I, I honestly don't think it matters. And because I am actually awful at trying to balance guns, like, I am probably the worst youtuber when it comes to balancing weapons all right i i'm i'm happy to take that crown i kind of want to just say that this gun looks powerful so i think it should do more damage than a regular scattergun but because we're keeping the same amount of bullets it should fire them a lot slower so the damage output is still good but you know you're shooting less or maybe you can like tighten or widen the spread of where the bullets go it doesn't matter there's so many things there's so many different ways you can balance weapons in this game. I feel like somebody who actually knows what they're talking about could play around with this and make it incredible. And because you lot are obviously so much better at doing this than I am, I would like to hear how you personally would balance this gun. Say you were actually trying to make a scattergun that was good. How would you balance this gun? Would you keep it with six bullets? Would you reduce it to four? Would you take it down to two? I don't know. I just want to hear what you have to say. I really don't think I had like as good of a time using this weapon skin as I probably could have if I was using the scattergun version. Just because trying to use a babyface's blaster that you're not really that great with and trying to do that in Uncle Topia, it, it was just, it was just difficult. I'm just bad at the game now. I was never great, but now I'm even worse. I have a video I'm going to make at some point that is going to require me to get a bunch of kills with all of the scatterguns. So I'm going to have to get good with the baby faces eventually. And maybe then I'll enjoy using this weapon skin. I still think it looks great though. Obviously, I would love to see new weapons in TF2. I don't necessarily think that's ever going to happen. But it can't hurt to have at least a tiny bit of hope. My expectations are still pretty low though. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click subscribe. It would help me out a lot. Also, leave a like on it if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.